Hi, how you doing on this rainy day? My name is Marcus. I'm going to show you how to repaint a garage door. Uh, about a year ago, I repainted my front garage door, a nice fire engine red. And I want to do the same thing to this one, which I painted gray years ago. And you see it's held up pretty good, but I want it red this time around. So we're going to go through the steps. Very simple. We're going to prep the door by removing the hardware first, washing it down, and then doing the actual painting, and then putting the hardware back, and we're done. Uh, the reason for this video is to see how things will turn out. Can this be a hobby for me? I'm not thinking of becoming a YouTuber or anything like that, but if there's a positive response to this video, who knows? Anyway, let's get started. So like I said, the first thing we're going to do is remove uh, the uh, hardware. A couple of screws in the back for both the handle and the lock. And away we go. We're not going to show you that part. We'll get it done and then we'll go into the uh, washing of the door part. Okay, so the hardware is off as you can see. Now I'm not going to be painting in my particular situation the back side of the door or the sides. Uh, so I've left the latches on. And the next step now is uh, to wash. Wash it down. So I have here a bucket of uh, water. I've added some detergent called TSP, trisodium phosphate. It's a painter's uh, friend. I just uh, sprinkled uh, some in there, maybe a couple of tablespoons, half, half a cup at most. Swished it around so that it would dissolve. And TSP is good for taking the dirt off things. Any grease that's on there will be taken off. And because it is a degreaser, it can be hard on the skin and that's why I'm wearing a glove. But do you absolutely need gloves? No, not necessarily. If you're a tough guy like me, you don't necessarily have to wear a glove. But it's at my age, it's a good idea to start wearing gloves and protective skin. Anyway, so it's, it's ready to go. And eye protection would be a good idea too, but I wear glasses, so it should be uh, good enough for this situation. And I'm going to wash down the door, let it uh, sit for a couple of minutes, wash it down again. I don't have a uh, handy hose here, so I'll empty the bucket with clean water and then rinse it down with uh, clean water. And then we'll, we'll let it dry and painting would be next. So let's get going. Hey, we're back the next day. We've given the door a chance uh, to dry and today we'll be painting. I uh, went and I picked out a brush. I'm just using a simple inexpensive uh, brush uh, because I'll be using rust paint which sticks to everything and so after I'm done painting this brush is basically garbage anyway. And I'm using a rust paint. Uh, it's what I like. It's a metal door. Uh, so I like using uh, uh, rust paint that's nice and thick, goes on thick, uh, sticks to anything, so you have to be careful with your clothing and having drop cloths around, things like that. So I'm, I'm using a rust paint because I like to use it, but you don't have to, anything that's applicable. And because it's so thick, I have to be careful how thick I put it on because the last thing you want is the paint to, dri uh, to start dripping down the door over time, which will look funny. So you have to apply just enough to cover the door, but not too much that it will cause uh, drip. So we'll have to keep a uh, lookout for that. I'm going to do the outside edge of the door first and then fill in the center. So we're going to do that right now. Here we go. Hey, welcome back. We started on a rainy day. We're ending on a rainy day. And here is the door, all painted with the hardware back on. Uh, took two coats to cover up the gray. And here's the end result. 
So we started out with a door that was in not bad shape in the first place. We didn't have to do any sanding, scraping, or anything like that. Just the wash like you saw. Two coats of paint, rust paint in this nice bright uh, red color that I like. Uh, took the hardware off, painted it, put it back on, let it dry at least 24 hours because it takes a while for this type of paint to dry. And there you see the end result. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you'll, and you'll give us a positive result so we can do some more. Thank you. Bye-bye.